at Riverdale High School with Coach Kreisky and home of one of the best players, probably the best player, it is the best player in the state of Tennessee, <laughs> and um, Caleb Herring. C can you talk just a little bit about Caleb as kind of a person before we get into his football skills? What, what, what does everybody need to know about him? As well, a I mean, you know, Caleb, Caleb is a good person. Like the one thing that I tell people that come through here is that I've never got a negative report on him from any teacher in the school building. The principal, she loves him, loves him. And it's not because he's a high profile football player. It's just because he's a good human being. He's yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Um, and he's very friendly and open. He'll talk to anybody in the hallway, always has a smile on his face. Uh, his mom, you know, has, raised, has done a great job. And he, he's just a kind hearted young man off the field. All right, let's talk about him as a football talent. Long, tall, rangy, um, going to have a chance, I'm sure, to add a lot of weight on in the college le game as, as his body fills out. But what does he do on the field well? Well, Caleb is the one who's a leader. Uh, kids follow him. Um, he does exactly. Is that because of his voice? I'm interrupting you. Is that because of his voice and his vocal stuff, or is that because of his play? No, it's because of his play. He's not very vocal okay. when it comes to yelling and screaming at kids or trying. He just does it, he just does it by action. Okay. Um, there was a game this year where uh, teams started trying to throw bubbles, trying to get him out of position, and he was running that play. He ran it down five times. <laughs> and, and it was just like the kids fed off that energy okay. and got really excited, and our defense played outstanding that night. So kids gravitate to him. What does he do well physically? Uh, physically, he's very good with his hands. You really? know, yes, yes, he's very good with his hands and, and how he, you know, he's tried to become a, a, a better rusher. Okay. And so he used that. He's worked that all season. He works with our defensive coordinator religiously on trying to become a better defensive player, whether it's rushing off the edge, if it's pass rush, because um, he wants to be that total football player. He really does. That's, that's what's unique about him and his brother, that they, that they really strive to be a really good football player. How is he different than, than Elijah? I know, I know physically they're different, but you coach both of them. Are, are there a lot of differences with them in, in terms of their mentality on the field and their approach to the game, or are there a lot of similarities to them? Um, I say the difference is that Elijah is going to be more that you, the vocal leader. Okay. He was always the vocal leader that everybody followed. Elijah spoke, everybody listened. Caleb does it more by actions. Caleb's kind of quiet, reserved. Um, you know, people will pick on Caleb and he, he'll just laugh. He, won't, he don't even retaliate, you know, that's just, that's just his nature. Right. Um, I see that he got a lot of his mama in him, whereas Elijah's just a vocal leader um, and always gonna make sure, stay on top of everybody. Caleb does it by example. How close to the ceiling is Caleb in terms of his potential? Is it, is, is, is he scratching it? Is he a little beyond scratching the surface? Where, where do you think I he's think at? he's starting to scratch it. it. It was very funny. When he came in as a freshman, he didn't know how to use his body. Okay. And we didn't know where to put him. We started him back at free safety, and we're like, this, no, we, we, no, <laughs> and this is not. Because that's where he played originally in right. middle school. And, and then he, he slowly went from free safety down to linebacker, down to the edge. And, and he finally found his niche. And once he started figuring out how to use his body, you know, a lot of kids grow but they don't, they don't know how to use their body yet. And he's starting to figure out, like you can see every year how much, how much he's progressed on the field. When did you know that was home? I mean, was, that, was there a practice? Was there a moment where you went, yeah, defensive ends off the edge is his best spot? Uh, I think it was his sophomore year. Um, it was early on in the season when, when uh, I can't remember if it was week one or two, but uh, guys were having a tough time blocking him. And it was really changing the game and really making our defense. I mean, we had a really good defense, but he would, they were having a tough time with him and trying to go away from him. He's got all the accolades, he's got all the hype. How do you push him? How do you keep him motivated? Is that a challenge? No, it's not a challenge. And that's, that's what's fun about this recruitment with him because this offseason, he's been the guy in the weight room. He's been the guy, like I just said, he's going to work with our defensive coordinator. They stay after every two or three days a week. And then other guys follow him. So there's been five or six, like it started out with just him, the defense coordinator, and now there's six, seven. It keeps, more guys keep going with him. And that's just who he is. And he's always in the way. If he's not going to be, if something comes up where he has a doctor's point, he lets me know like at seven o'clock in the morning. Like he does, like he's, he's been a dream to coach because with being a high profile athlete, he loves the game of football. So the balance is there. Yes. It's never been about where I'm going next, he's always taking care of Riverdale first. Yes, and he's, he has a lot of pride. Him and his brother have a lot of pride for Riverdale. Well, he's a guy that everybody in the state's been talking about for a long time. 
A lot of people excited about that young man there, Caleb Herring.